Thanks for joining us. Our active weather watch does continue. I'm meteorologist Nicole Karkic. Let's start off in BC where we're seeing lots of people in the dark across Vancouver Island, at least 45,000 customers at this point. And yes, wind warnings still in play. These will diminish through the overnight, so that's the good news. But in the meantime, we have to deal with along the coast about uh, gusts up to 100 kilometers an hour for the lower mainland, including Metro Vancouver. In that wind warning, gusts there likely between 60 to 80 kilometers an hour. And they're going to be out of the south. Good news is the rain is starting to taper off. Looks like it moved out of Surrey as well as Vancouver at this point. But you could see a little bit more through the overnight, but overall it's winding down and Friday is looking dry. As of 11 a.m., this is the rain that we've seen. West Vancouver, 28 millimeters of rain, and we have a little bit more to go. About 5 to 15 millimeters anywhere in the lower mainland and less so for Vancouver Island. It caused lots of people's basements to com be completely ruined. They're in cleanup mode right now and they're putting up sandbags too because we're still seeing this rain right now uh, but it's just been an above average rainfall for the past month and it's going to continue to be wet tonight however in the long range it is clearing out this is our winds out of the south through the georgia strait but north and central coast still seeing strong winds into saturday let's head all the way to the east coast next all about to change with the system moving through for tomorrow and into saturday now it does start off as rain because temperatures are very mild into tomorrow moncton will see about 15 to 30 millimeters of rain. Halifax in that 15 to 30 range as well. Bergio getting a bit more and for St. John's 15 to 30. And this is from this evening. This takes us into Saturday morning. Now while it starts as rain, it changes over to snow. So who's going to get hit the hardest with snow? Edmonston, Plaster Rock, over to Campbellton. Those areas are in a snowfall warning for likely seeing 10 to 25 centimeters. And so it first starts as rain. When it switches over to snow, you can imagine it's going to be a big slushy mess as we head into your weekend. So this is Friday evening, the system moving through the area. For Saturday, it switches over to snow. By Sunday, it really is cleared out and we're looking at uh, just cooler temperatures in the wake of that system. Coming up, more on our active weather across the country. If you're just joining us, our active weather watch does continue and we'll start off in BC where we're seeing some of the most active weather right now. Wind warnings are in place across Vancouver Island and for the lower mainland, including Metro Vancouver. We could see winds generally with a southerly flow through the overnight, gusting between 60 to 80 kilometers an hour for the lower mainland, but for Vancouver Island, not out of the question to get close to 100 kilometers an hour. Now for the Rwanda Fuca Strait, we are seeing wind gusts at about 90 kilometers an hour this evening. That is then going to shift towards uh, uh, areas into the lower mainland, which will uh, be, be, be a bit breezy this evening, but let up for tomorrow morning. This is a look at how much rain we've seen as of 11 a.m. Vancouver, 29 millimeters at the airport, and there still is more rain to go, but it is definitely easing. And 5 to 15 millimeters anywhere in this hyper green. Uh, Squamish has included Vancouver, but for Vancouver Island, under five millimeters of rain. And as for the winds, anything in the pink is the strongest. And then we get to this color, which is sustained winds at 40 to 60 kilometers an hour in this almost red. That is the strongest winds, where as you can see, still along the north and central coast, it's going to be windy into Friday. But across the lower mainland of Vancouver Island, it is easing up. And we have a good chance of seeing the sunshine tomorrow too, but there's a low moving to the north, and that will keep you quite active still. Yes, we didn't see the sunshine, but not bad temperatures for this time of year. For this evening, Calgary will drop down to about 7 degrees, Edmonton 6, Medicine Hat 13. And as we move across the Prairie Provinces, places like Winnipeg, feeling like minus 6 this evening. And we have some moisture moving through Winnipeg for tomorrow, uh, which will bring you about um, under 5 centimeters of snow. Uh, getting a little bit hit harder through to Friday night around Armstrong and northern Ontario. Thunder Bay also seeing some snow with this event. And tonight, we're seeing rain showers this evening, generally across the greater Toronto region. But that could change to a rain-snow mix into your Friday morning. But overall, this is not too much rain. It's fairly light. So you're going to want to have the heater on, that's for sure. Uh, through the east, our big story is another system moving through just in time for the weekend. Snowfall warning in place for northern BC, uh, northern uh, New Brunswick, rather, where we could get up to 25 centimeters of snow. But this first does start as rain. Stay tuned, our active weather watch does continue.
Howling winds for British Columbia, and yes, we're still seeing rain. The good news is winds are dying down tonight, and so too is the rain. But we have to deal with uh, gusts up to 100 kilometers an hour for Vancouver Island. Through the Juan de Fuca Strait, we've seen wind gusts up to 90 kilometers an hour. And we are going to be seeing across the lower mainland the potential for those gusts to be between 60 to 80 kilometers an hour. This is the rain we've seen so far. West Vancouver, 28 millimeters, and for Vancouver at the airport, close to 30. Uh, we have a little bit more to go, an additional 5 to 15 millimeters, so things are winding down. However, across Vancouver Island, we've had at least 40,000 customers in the dark. We have now a clip from a spokesperson from BC Hydro. So definitely have those flashlights ready to go in case you lose your power tonight. But from what I understand, BC Hydro is working very hard to get everyone back online. They're going to be working right through the overnight. So the winds. Strongest winds are in this reddish color and this uh, pinkish color. Those are wind gusts sustained at about 60 kilometers an hour. So for the north and central coast, pretty bad. But by Friday morning, look how it really lets up right here across the south. And then we're going to be seeing still some strong winds for the north central coast as we head into Saturday. But it's not too bad again for the lower mainland. We're actually going to see some sunshine tomorrow. On Monday in Calgary, it's going to be minus 5 for the daytime high, feeling closer to minus 12. So get prepped for the cool down to happen once again. For Calgary this evening, 7 degrees. Medicine Hat 13, Lloyd Minster feeling like minus one. And as we move towards the Prairie Provinces, well, for Saskatoon at seven and Winnipeg, quite a bit cooler, minus two this evening, feeling like minus six. And there is some moisture moving in through southern Manitoba. So into Friday night, Winnipeg will see under five centimeters of snow, a little bit more northern Ontario. And for tonight, if you're still seeing some moisture, it could change over to a bit of a rain snow mix around Barrie, even Toronto. But this is very light rain. Used to it, of course, winter is just around the corner and for Montreal on Sunday your high will be two degrees so there's this big Arctic blast that's really engulfing lots of Canada as we head into the weekend this afternoon for Montreal, 8, Trois-Rivières, 7, and Montreal, 6. And for the east, your big story is another big storm moving through tomorrow into Saturday. It does start as rain, but I want to give you a heads up here. Northern New Brunswick, a snowfall warning in place for up to 25 centimeters of snow. But first of all, we've got the rain this evening into Saturday. Stay tuned. Coming up, some photos. So we're seeing active weather right now in British Columbia. The active weather, however, is going to start in Atlantic Canada for you tomorrow. We'll get to that in a moment. But right now, the pictures that are being shared on Twitter. This one was sent to me directly at Nicole Karkic is my Twitter account. Victor says heavy rain tapering off, but strong winds down with the winds. So I'm going to have to replant those, unfortunately. But a more concerning situation, lots of trees down. And that's flooding, in fact. It came through very quickly Monday night into Tuesday morning, a school was closed. People's baits been completely flooded. So cleanup mode there, certainly. And they're putting sandbags up in the area, too. We've had above average rainfall so far this fall across southern BC. And with the strong winds right here, uh, we do see the lower mainland getting gusts between 60 to 80 kilometers an hour, generally a southerly flow. And this, as I mentioned, will die down. That's the good news part of it. Rain we've seen so far, the additional rainfall we have is a Definitely an additional 5 to 15 millimeters for the lower mainland, but it is tapering off. There's a light at the end of the tunnel, and there's even a chance of seeing some sunshine tomorrow in Vancouver. But the winds, still an issue tonight. Clears out here for southern BC Friday, but it's still quite strong for the north and central coast into the weekend. There is a low pressure system that's moving into northern BC, still bringing rainfall there. And then as we look towards the east, a quick preview here. Rain beginning tomorrow into your Saturday, then it does change over to snow. We'll give you more details on this big storm in Atlantic Canada coming up.